so we are going to do a little bit of generator maintenance today and i thought i'd show you guys a few tips and tricks about these uh comfort pro apus since uh imco sold comfort pro to carrier they were they were required to remove all the how-to videos on their youtube channel so imco basically deleted all their how-to's after they sold the carrier i'm assuming carrier don't want us doing uh the maintenance ourselves. they want us to have to come pay their high dollar rates so i'm gonna show you guys a few things that i know i'm no expert i'm no mechanic let's just, i'm gonna show you what i know about these things i've had to work on them quite a bit in the past we used to have an old rig master apu that was almost impossible to find somewhere to get worked on they're a simple concept so let's take a look at it so basically these two these four give you a, a simple access to checking your oil doing a simple basic oil change but what we're going to do is take this whole housing off so we can get deep into uh some other objects that we should be maintaining on these you got four screws on the front these outside ones take the top cover off these inside ones take the lower cover off you also have four back here the one on the right takes the top off the one on the left takes the bottom off and then the same on the other side which is going to be hard because if you can tell they mounted our jet apu really close to our fuel tank there's enough room to get in there i'm gonna have to use heather's long skinny arms to get those two back there my handy helper <laughs> all right so i'm gonna take all four of these and those off and then i'm gonna let heather do those other two we're gonna slide these off and i'll show you how that works quick tip you want a half inch we got these ratchet wrenches really nice to get these off with you can use a half inch socket if that's what you got but half inch does the trick When you take the bottom off you do have to disconnect your uh your muffler or your exhaust pipe and it's just one screw to get this whole l bracket off you take that one screw off to get the l bracket off to be able to get the lower piece off well my handy assistant's getting that one i will say this bolt right here to get the the pipe uh, loose you have to get another half inch and go from the inside up in there because there's a bolt and a nut on the uh, on both sides so you'll need two half inch wrenches how's it going yeah your long arms uh able to get in there yeah yeah not that easy but it's working so once you got all those four screws off, it's really simple. Before you guys get started, unplug this plug from this white box so your generator doesn't start on you. All right, so this belt right here has got quite a bit of play in it. That is the generator belt. This is your drive. This back here is an electric motor. And as uh, the drive spins, this belt spins this electric motor, which is what creates power to the sleeper. This gets loose, but it's adjustable it's a linked belt so it's adjustable now you need a special tool to get this belt off and on you can pick this tool up at any kind of carrier dealership and i will post the part number down in the description if you want to pick up that part in order to use this special tool we need to get one of these bolts off because this fits in there just like that and then it comes with a bolt to go in that hole to mount this to this wheel or 
whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I'm no mechanic. You can correct me if in down in the comments. Now I'm using a 17 millimeter to hold this one still. You can use any, any one, two, three, four, any five of them. All right, so I got one of them loose. Spin this. around to get to that. I'm gonna see if I can get the belt off without the tool. Oh yeah. So it comes off really easy. You'll probably need a pair of needle nose to kind of twist this to the side to be able to get get that through the hole there we go so it basically locks together now I'm gonna take one of the links out There we go. Just take one of the links out, then put it back together. Yeah, let's make sure I do this right. Now we're gonna put our special tool on. I like how it's called special. <laughs> You're special. So you will need a socket wrench to get this tightened down all the way. Now we got the tool on there. What this does is help uh, feed the, the belt onto the spindle. <laughs> I'll make my words up as I go along here. So we'll turn this to right there and kind of get it started. Now this is where you're gonna, your 17 millimeter is gonna come in handy. We're gonna put the 17 millimeter down there. Boom. Booyah. and tight now now we gotta loosen this <clears throat> all right so we got the the belt on nice and tight we're taking our uh, special tool off we take that nut out take our tool off now is this tool absolutely necessary probably not it definitely makes it easy but I think you can do without it so I bought it because I wasn't a hundred percent sure it definitely makes it easier to get on there because it adds that this extra piece for the belt to hold on to as it feeds onto the onto the pulley but chances are you could probably get in on there without it now I put my our bolt uh, nut back in there gonna tighten that down nice and tight this is where that 17 millimeter wrench comes in handy stops it from <sighs> spinning on you boom nice and tight now if this is loose 
it's not going to be generating enough electricity to run your microwave or if you're having problems with your microwave not heating stuff up as good as it used to chances are this is loose great thing about this belt is you can just take these little links out of it and you don't have to buy a whole new belt eventually you will though you can only take so many links out and then you'll have to buy another one um, we might be able to take one more out these belts are expensive 150 to 200 bucks I think but that's how you do your generator belt I've already done a video on how to do the alternator belt it's also the water pump the alternator um, but we're gonna change that today too but I also want to show you something else this filter right here this is your inline fuel filter a lot of people don't know about this filter uh, when you go to get your APU services done if you go to for instance we go to Speedco very rarely do they have these in stock um, I picked up a bunch of them the last time I was at the carry, carrier dealership so I could have them on hand because Speedco never has these in stock. Nobody ever has them in stock. They're hard to find. But we have them on hand just in case. If you do get this changed at a service place, if they put this in backwards, your generator will stop running. Um, these are a, a directional kind of filter. They're in line. They're really easy to change. You just clip these pins on the end and it slides right off the tube. If you leave a cert after getting a service done and your generator will not start or run, chances are they put that on backwards. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that today. Uh, we'll do it another time because ours is still good. So I wanted to show you guys all the filters and parts uh, that you need to do these type of maintenances yourself. Um, they're really easy to do. You can do the oil changes yourself. We're going to link all the part numbers down in the description and uh, also going to put a link for that other video that I did on the alternator belt. Right here is your air filter. Pops off just like that and this little thing comes open. You got your fuel filter, your oil filter, your inline fuel filter that I showed you guys earlier, your alternator belt which uh, that's the other video that I did on that will link above and your generator belt. All these things you guys can do yourself very cheaply and save you guys some money on it. Um, and as I learn more, as we have any other problems with this or do any other maintenance, we'll do some videos on it. So I hope you guys like the video. Give it a thumbs up, pass it along to anybody that might need to do some uh, generator maintenance and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace, love, and expedite.